These are the top five travel destinations for black travelers in 2022. Number five, the United Arab Emirates. The small country located in the Persian Gulf is home to the tallest building in the world, some of the most luxurious hotels ever seen, and a mixture of tradition and many things that can rarely be found in other countries. The United Arab Emirates is famous for its continuous sunshine, its golden sand dunes, and some of the most unique and intriguing architecture and building projects of modern times. Emirati culture is a blend of Arabian, Islamic, and Persian cultures with influences from the cultures of East Africa and the Indian subcontinent. Islam has a prominent influence on the local architecture, music, attire, cuisine, and lifestyle. Dubai, its most popular destination, welcomed more than 7 million visitors in 2021. Dubai is hot year round. The best time to visit is between November to April. January and February are the busiest months because that's when the Dubai shopping festival happens in the Dubai mall. Needless to say, that's when hotels in Dubai become the most crowded. The months of June to August are definitely not recommended for travel. That's when temperatures start rising, going well beyond 40 degrees Celsius. However, August is the hottest of all. The weather tends to be really hot, and during this month, any outdoor activities are impossible. One major attraction in Dubai is the Burj Khalifa, as it is one of the most famous places to visit in Dubai. With its 829.8 meters, or 2,723 feet, this is the tallest building in the world. In other words, if you visit Dubai, you certainly can't miss it. The views from Burj Khalifa are jaw-dropping. For incredible bird's eye views of the city, make sure to go to the 128th floor, known as the observation deck. From super luxurious hotels in downtown, you can have access to attractions such as the Dubai Mall, the Dubai Fountain, and Jumeirah Beach. But there are also cheaper options for all budgets. A popular hotel attraction is the Burj Al Arab. It is an incredible seven-star hotel that is shaped like a ship's sail. This over-the-top luxury hotel was located on its own man-made island. So you have access to your own beach, but you have to take a taxi to reach other attractions. All of the rooms in the Burj Al Arab have ocean views. As if it's not enough, there is the sky view bar at 200 meters or 656 feet above sea level on the 27th floor. Because of the UAE's location between Oman and Saudi Arabia, it makes it ideal to connect travelers heading from the west to the east and vice versa. Dubai's international airport has been ranked as one of the top busiest airports in the world for international travelers, seeing over 29 million passengers just in 2021. With a tropical desert climate, most of your time will be spent indoors in the comfort of air conditioning, especially during the humid summer days. This is exactly why shopping malls in the UAE are designed not just for shopping, but for meeting your friends, unwinding, exercising, and of course shopping. The Dubai Mall, the world's second largest, has the world's biggest indoor aquarium, which harbors more than 33,000 sea animals and is one of Dubai's main tourist attractions. Although there are over 19,000 restaurants in Dubai, including different cuisines from all around the world, cultural dishes are never forgotten. Staples of Emirati cuisine include meat, fish, and rice, with lamb and mutton being the more favored meats. Tea and coffee are the preferred beverages, with spices like cardamom, saffron, and mint added to give it a distinctive flavor. 
Another magnificent piece of architecture added to the cityscape is Dubai Opera, which opened in 2016 in the Opera District of downtown Dubai. It is perfect for a night out. You will be able to enjoy all sorts of concerts, opera, and ballets. The theater can hold up to 2,000 spectators and has quickly become one of the most popular tourist attractions in town. Headed south of Dubai, along the coast, is the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is the UAE's capital and its largest state, occupying approximately 87% of the country's territory. Abu Dhabi is the home of the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, one of the most beautiful and picturesque mosques in the world. Everyone is welcome in the mosque, regardless of race or religion. Visitors are just asked to dress respectfully. In addition to the mosque, Abu Dhabi is also home to the Yaz Viceroy Hotel, where visitors can see the Formula One racing track and watch world-renowned races. Only a few minutes drive away, you will also find Ferrari World, an indoor amusement park themed after the famous car brand. This emirate has been fast growing and constantly adding new attractions to its already long list of world records. You can also enjoy a fun day at Abu Dhabi's Warner Brothers World, the world's largest indoor theme park. It includes six immersive lands to explore. Among them is Gotham City. These are only a few of the attractions and activities one can enjoy while in the United Arab Emirates. When visiting the UAE, you will certainly run out of time before running out of things to see and do. Number four. Located just above the equator in Southeast Asia, bordering Myanmar, Laos, and Cambodia, is the country of Thailand. Known for good food, low prices, incredible hotels, beautiful islands, and the ease of getting around, Thailand ranks high as a popular travel destination. Bangkok is the capital city and has consistently hot weather and is known for being very crowded. Thailand has over 1,500 miles of coastline with stunning beaches. There are almost 1,000 islands around the coast of Thailand. The most beautiful islands are in the Andaman Sea off the west coast. Bangkok is also full of contrasting scenes, ancient temples, modern shopping malls, and Buddhist temples. In the far south, each city has amazing Buddhist temples as over 94% of Thailand's population is Buddhist, with a small Muslim minority in the far south by the Malaysian border. In fact, Thailand has over 40,000 of them and their incredible designs are something to see. However, visitors must remember to dress appropriately when visiting temples in Thailand by covering your knees and shoulders with clothing and taking off your shoes at the entrance. The best time to visit Bangkok is from November to March when the heat and humidity are at their lowest. Still, Thailand has a tropical climate and temperatures can rise up to 90 degrees on any day of the year. Street food is a very broad category. Pad Thai, green curry, and Tom Yum Gong are a few of the most iconic dishes that you need to try in Thailand. You are sure to find every type of Thai food in Bangkok, which is a true melting pot of cultures with the most diverse street food scene in the world. When in Thailand, you must cruise around town in a three-wheel tuk-tuk. It's Thailand's most iconic vehicle. Tuk-tuks are typically more expensive than taxis, so you won't be catching them every day, but it's worth a trip or two for your first experience. Here you can find cheap electronics, clothing, souvenirs, and the list goes on and on. Thailand is a paradise for shopaholics. In Bangkok, it seems like there's a huge shopping center on just about every corner. Most large shopping centers also have great food courts with a huge range of local foods. The Thai people absolutely love their markets any day of the week. There's a variety of markets, including night markets, fresh markets, weekend markets, train markets, and so many more. 
Markets in Thailand go way beyond just shopping. There are places where locals and tourists can socialize, grab a drink, find great food, and even watch live bands play local music. Even though Thai people are really friendly and welcoming, as a note to any tourist, you are advised not to mention the king or anything about the royal family, especially in a negative way. All in all, make sure that Thailand is on your list of places to visit in 2022. Number three. Located in Eastern Asia, bordering the Yellow Sea to the west, the Sea of Japan to the east, the Korea Strait to the south, and North Korea to the north is South Korea. South Korea has a lot to offer, a rich and unique Asian culture, amazing Buddhist temples, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and a delicious and healthy cuisine. When thinking about South Korea, the first thing that comes to mind is probably its capital city, Seoul. Seoul is currently experiencing a wave of creativity, from fashion to cuisine, architecture, and art. The city has become trendy in the international scene. It also has everything from luxury hotels, high-tech stores, and a vibrant nightlife. Koreans will not hesitate to come and chat with you. It is said that you can expect to make great human encounters during a trip to South Korea and discover many things about their culture and history. One of the best ways to experience South Korea's culture is through the culinary delights that can be found in restaurants. One of the best ways to experience South Korea's culture is through the culinary delights that can be found in restaurants. Koreans love barbecue and kimchi. Kimchi is fermented cabbage. It is recognized also by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity item. In South Korea, you will have it practically with every meal. It is also considered one of the five healthiest dishes in the world. Over the centuries, Koreans have created a fascinating and rich food culture made up of meat dishes, stews, soups, noodle dishes, seafood, and many vegetable side dishes. While in Seoul, you can learn about the ancient history and culture of Korea by visiting the Chungdung-gong Palace. Also known as the Eastern Palace, which dates back to 1405 CE. If you're traveling on a budget, then visiting the free museums is a great thing to do in South Korea. Some recommended free museums in Seoul are National Folk Museum, the Agricultural Museum, and the National Museum. One of the must things to do in Korea for all travelers is to visit one of the 900 Buddhist temples that reside around the country. Each temple has unique tributes to Buddha that include statues, meditation halls, and ceremonial tea rooms. Believe it or not, you can enjoy a temple stay, which are becoming very popular in South Korea. Another interesting trip would be to take a two and a half hour bullet train ride to the bustling city of Busan. Busan also offers a different experience than Seoul. Being the second largest city of South Korea, Busan is the main port city in the South, known for its local seafood, urban nightlife, endless beaches, and beautiful mountains. South Korea is made up of 70% mountains, and it is possible to hike many of them. Also, for those who love the beach, South Korea boasts eight top beaches along its miles of coastline. Just like Japan, South Korea offers an incredible cherry blossom festival in the spring. Simply walk in a park in any of the Korean cities to admire the trees changing colors and turning pink, purple, and white. It is highly recommended that you travel to South Korea during spring or autumn. Summer or winter won't be a very good idea. The climate in South Korea is divided into four very distinct seasons. There is spring, April to June, a muggy and wet summer, July to August, autumn is September to November, and a freezing cold and snowy dry winter from December to March. The summer is rather hot and humid and is accompanied by a few sometimes quite dangerous typhoons. 
During this monsoon period, the rains are generally torrential. Spring and autumn are the most pleasant seasons, which are cool and sunny. Despite its small size, South Korea is home to 22 national parks with countless mountains. The island of Jeju has the highest peak in South Korea, the shield volcano known as Halasan. Another popular hiking area is Koreksan, the third tallest mountain in the country at 1,708 meters or 5,603 feet. These are some of the natural attractions that make South Korea such a thrilling destination. So make sure that it's on your list of destinations to visit in 2022. Number two, located on the western side of Africa, bordering the Atlantic Ocean and surrounding the Gambia, except in the Atlantic Ocean, is the country of Senegal. Dakar is Senegal's capital city and acts as a port city too. The official language of Senegal is French. So you must polish up on your French before embarking on a journey to the country. There are several reasons why you should travel to Senegal and they include its various attractions such as magnificent beaches, world heritage sites, unique art, wildlife, and great music. Despite Islam being the dominant religion in Senegal, the locals have no concern over your dressing code. If you travel to Senegal, feel free to dress comfortable, especially if you are a female. Senegal hosts seven World Heritage Sites. These sites include Islands of Gori. Now a peaceful place, it was once famously known for being the most significant slave trading capital in Africa. Next is Basari Country, which includes Basari, Fula and Bedik cultural landscapes. Next is the Isle of St. Louis. It's a site with a colonial heritage background. It was a capital city in the French colonial era before Dakar, Senegal took over. Next is Solom Delta, which is known for shell fishing. The shells of fish are recycled and used to build pathways, houses, and decorate art. Next is Stone Circles of Senegambia. This site is very secret and it includes four ancient ruins that make the area along the River Gambia known for a high concentration of monuments. Then there's the George National Bird Sanctuary. This is a haven to various beautiful bird species such as the purple heron, white pelican, African spoonbill, and many more. Lastly is the Nyokola Koba National Park. It is a natural site offering floodplains and amazing forest cover to wildlife such as lions, reptiles, amphibians, and tortoises. Dakar is the capital of Senegal. The city is considered safe and has very little crime. If you are an architectural enthusiast, you will be fascinated at the architecture of the Dakar Grand Mosque, which shares a lot of architectural design history. Senegal has beautiful and vast beaches across its over 300 miles of Atlantic coastline. Senegal beaches include the beach of Salé, Lagoon Beach, La Petite Côte Beach, and La Crozet. The traditional food of Senegal is comprised of fresh fish, garlic, tomato paste, vegetables, and is served with rice. Other cultural dishes include shrimp marinated along with wine, cafe, which means peanut stew, chicken yasa, and the preferred juice is made from ginger, baba tree, and hibiscus. A popular spot for artists and art enthusiasts is Village de Arts, which is a hub for many artists and it includes an on-site gallery. And some of the artists reside here. Senegal has the tallest statue in the African continent, which is named the African Renaissance Monument. It is located in Dermame and is 52 meters long. It showcases a man, a woman, and a child. It is bronze in nature and was designed by a Senegalese architect. It was built to celebrate 50 years of independence from France and completed in 2010. 
The coastline of the capital of Senegal is a renowned surfing destination across the world. It is the best place to go surfing in Africa because of its rolling water waves. The rolling waves are constant throughout the year. If you hope to have a fantastic safari drive with limitless opportunities to spot wildlife, there are various national parks and reserves which have a range of wildlife. Some include the Fathala Wildlife Reserve, located in the Sim Solom Delta. It's well known for the best encounters with wildlife in its habitat. Also, there's the Bandia Reserve, which has a savanna with giraffes, rhinos, and zebras wandering across it. You can even take a safari there. Next is the Neokolo Koba National Park, which is famous for spotting West African lions. Senegalese music, known as Mbala, is infused with rock, jazz, drum beats, and soul, making it very appealing to listen and to dance to. There are said to be many funky nightclubs in Dakar where you can listen to the Mbala genre. If Senegal is not on your list, then it definitely needs to be for 2022. And number one is a landlocked country located in Southern Africa with neighboring countries, including Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Tanzania, and Zimbabwe. It is the country of Zambia. When it comes to visiting Africa, Zambia is often overlooked because it is landlocked. However, for those who want to get off the beaten track, this landlocked country has much to offer. But if you want to explore one of Africa's best kept secrets, you need to do it now because it won't be for long. Zambia is a country with a population of over 19 million people. Zambians are very warm and welcoming people. Even though there are over 72 languages and seven vernacular languages, English is the official language used in education, commerce, and law. It is a mineral rich country and is known as the world's largest producer of copper. According to the World Economic Forum, Zambia is also one of the safest countries in Africa. Zambia has a lot going on apart from being voted as one of the safest countries on the continent to visit. It has some of the most unspoiled and wild landscapes in Africa. And Zambia is also known for its guided bush walks and walking safaris. This remote wilderness provides the opportunity for game-rich safaris without having to be inside a fenced area. All of Zambia's natural parks are unfenced and elephants, hippos, giraffes, buffaloes, hyenas, and lions roam freely. But no worries about walking among this wildlife because Zambia has some of the most well-trained and knowledgeable tour guides in Africa. From the rural and city attractions to excellent game viewing, in 20 national parks and private reserves, Zambia is a country of diversity, adventure, and beauty. It is a welcoming place full of culture and history. Other attractions around Zambia include the Freedom Statue, the Copper Belt Museum, Devil's Pool, Masio Tunya National Park, and the Kalimba Reptile Park. For those who enjoy shopping and dining, there's also 20 malls located within Lusaka alone. Zambian cuisine, though varied, is mostly centered around Nshima, which is the country's staple food. It is a thick porridge made from a relatively coarse flour made from corn. When it comes to the famous cassava and groundnut snack, while some prefer roasting cassava, in other parts of the country, frying cassava is preferred. Mango is one of the most eaten fruits in Zambia, though it is also a seasonal fruit. Machupo is a snack popular among alcohol lovers, including beef or goat meat that is grilled kebab style. Originating in the northern region, but famous throughout the country, is the Mopane worm, which is among the most loved delicacies. This favorite is enjoyed by many, Fresh caterpillars are usually hand-picked in the rainy season between November and March. They are then drained of their inner contents 
and are dried to make them available throughout the year. Zambia also has many bodies of water, making fish one of the most popular foods in the country. Sen is another popular food eaten in Zambia. Like in Shima, it is also made from corn. Sen can be eaten in many different ways. It can be eaten, for example, with fresh milk, sour milk, sugar, roasted groundnuts, or raw ground peanuts. Some of the vegetable dishes eaten here are pumpkin leaves, cassava leaves, and okra. All in all, Zambia is the hidden gem of Africa, soon to be buzzing with visitors from around the world. Make sure it is on your list of destinations to visit in 2022. This is the Unapologetic Nomads. Please like, share, and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.